Hello and welcome. My name is Chris Overholt, and I'm a developer advocate who works with conversational AI in Google Cloud. I'm very excited to talk with you today about how to boost your conversational experiences with generative AI. We'll also get into the details of how you can quickly build out an amazing customer experience with something called Gen App Builder. So let's get started. First, we'll review the current capabilities of chatbots and how they affect the customer experience today. Then, we'll get into specific aspects of the next generation of conversational experiences, including informational, transactional, and generative capabilities. We'll start with a customer journey that most of us have probably been through firsthand, a frustrating experience with a chatbot or a virtual phone agent. Let's say that you want to buy tickets for a concert in San Francisco on May 5th. The call starts with a greeting, then the virtual agent proceeds to ask one question after the other about the location, the performer, the date, the number of tickets, and lots of confirmations along the way. After this very long and painful interrogation process, it turns out there are no tickets available for the date that you actually wanted anyway. We can see that this interaction was very mechanical and robotic, and the customer experience was similar to filling out a long and tedious form, one field at a time. And only after you've completed the entire form, in the end, you're disappointed that we can't help you anyway. This kind of interaction usually ends with the customer repeatedly yelling into their phone, customer support, customer support, customer support until they're ultimately transferred to a human agent to handle their issue. Now, instead, let's walk through a more natural and pleasant customer experience. In this case, rather than following prompts from the chatbot, the customer just speaks in plain natural language and states all of the important details up front, just like they would when talking to another person in real life. I'd like to buy two tickets for this particular concert in San Francisco. Then we move on to available dates and payment. Here, we use natural language understanding and machine learning models on the back end, and the chatbot was able to deconstruct, parameterize, and act much more quickly and efficiently with the customer. Now, even when you have powerful natural language understanding models on the back end, Implementing a virtual agent is still a very complex process. It's very common for chatbot developers to end up with virtual agents that have hundreds or even thousands of components, since they need to represent all of the different paths that a customer might take along the way. This results in a very large and complex conversation flow that's difficult to implement and even more difficult to update, just like the conversation graph you see on the right side. As a result, developers often get lost in the logic and the routing of the virtual agents, which takes away valuable time and effort that could have gone into designing a more pleasant customer experience. And this is exactly where generative AI comes in to help us better align our chatbots with conversation design principles. If we follow fundamental conversation design principles and our development tool handles the implementation details for us, then we're much more likely to end up with a simple and intuitive user experience, which means happier customers, increased call containment rates, and an overall better experience for customers. For the rest of this session, we'll focus on three types of conversational capabilities that you can combine to create amazing customer experiences. First, informational capabilities, which means that customers can ask more open-ended questions with natural language to quickly get the information they need without chatbot developers having to manually define thousands of questions and answers. Second, transactional capabilities. This means that chatbots can now handle a wider range of tasks and actions automatically rather than needing to escalate to a human agent early in the conversation. And third, generative capabilities. This means combining the first two capabilities to make the customer experience hyper-personalized. For example, we could generate or rewrite content in real time based on how the question was phrased or even based on a specific customer profile. 
Now that we understand the specific challenges and complexities involved with implementing conversational experiences, let's walk through the timeline of large language models and generative AI capabilities so we can understand how we got here and how we can use these together to improve the customer experience. We'll start by discussing what generative AI is and what large language models are. Large language models are built on top of an understanding of general knowledge because they're trained on a very large corpus or a set of documents. Because of this, LLMs can handle much more complex tasks like auto-completion, information retrieval, sentiment analysis, and intent detection. And if you're wondering about the term large in large language models, it means that these models have on the order of billions of parameters. And generative AI is the application of these kinds of models to produce content, such as text, images, video, and code. In the case of chatbots, this generated content can actually help customers solve their problems faster by pulling from a larger realm of general information. Now, if we look at the timeline in terms of machine learning and AI developments, Google has always been at the forefront of AI. You can see this both in our research and in our products. Over the last few years, we've made significant investments into building and training large language models. Back in 2017, there was a breakthrough research paper on transformers published by members of the Google Brain team. At that time, transformers represented a huge leap in how well these models performed in the real world. And ever since then, Google's released several other large language models, like the ones you see here on the timeline. Alongside all of this research, we've also been productionizing and making these technologies usable for our own customers in Google Cloud. We're very excited to continue to translate these technical breakthroughs into products that help billions of people around the world. Now, you might be wondering, where does all of this actually fit into Google Cloud? A couple of months ago, we announced a few new products related to generative AI, including foundation models, enterprise search, and conversational AI. These products help developers build apps that surface generative AI capabilities in lots of different ways. For example, foundation models are available in Vertex AI, and they include generative functionality for things like text, code, and images. Enterprise search complements the foundation models to provide up-to-date and targeted information from both internal data sources and public websites. Conversational AI, which is the main focus of our talk today, enables developers to steer customers towards productive actions using informational capabilities and can answer questions like, how much would my phone bill change if I added international data roaming? Or even transactional capabilities like, help me pay this month's phone bill. Now, we're going to focus on conversational AI and learn how generative AI can enhance customer experiences. Specifically, we're going to take a deeper look into the capabilities provided by Generative AI App Builder, or GenApp Builder for short. With GenApp Builder, we're going to look at the informational, transactional, and generative capabilities that we described earlier. For now, you can think of GenApp Builder as a very fast and easy way for developers to quickly create apps like chatbots, virtual support assistants, and custom search engines with minimal development overhead. And behind the scenes, the conversational capabilities in Gen App Builder are powered by Google Cloud's natural language models, speech models, and of course, large language models. We've been helping our users deliver more natural chat and voice-based experiences over the last several years. And we do this by using virtual agents that support natural language understanding, multi-turn conversations, and conversational technologies that are built with dialogue flow in Google Cloud and the same deep learning technologies that power the Google Assistant. Now, for the latest generation of virtual agents that we're talking about today, we're really just getting started with LLM-powered conversational experiences and generative AI. And it's gonna drastically change the way that we develop virtual agents, as well as how customers interact with them. In this section, we'll talk about a few different ways that Gen App Builder can help you build amazing conversational experiences both in terms of faster chatbot development and directly improving customer experience. In the past, 
If you needed to provide an informational chat experience on your website that could answer hundreds of different questions, you would actually need to manually create a very large amount of intents and responses in your chatbot. Then you would need to specify additional variants that represent different ways that a customer might ask their question. But with Gen App Builder, you can skip over all of that tedious step-by-step -step process and easily create an FAQ-based informational bot that uses existing content from your support knowledge bases or even your internal documentation. On the back end, Gen App Builder uses advanced natural language models to parse and tokenize your website and FAQ content, organize it into question and answer pairs, and then route users to the most appropriate answers at the right time. If you use this approach, you can quickly set up a conversational app that can be embedded on your website or mobile app, and it's instantly ready to help your customers find the right answers. Another capability that we'll discuss is called generative fallback responses, which also focuses on customer facing conversational functionality. In the past, if a user said something that was not represented in the logical design of a chatbot, the virtual agent would fall back to a default intent and respond with some variation of, I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Can you rephrase? And as we saw in the example of a frustrating customer experience, this is a very common point of irritation for customers when it happens over and over during a call or a chat session. Instead of trying to design for hundreds of potential edge cases and potentially over-engineering our chatbot, we can instead use generative AI and large language models to create responses for users in real time. For example, we might have a customer who has some questions about travel policies before they actually purchase a flight. Or we might have another customer who wants to know about regional healthcare information in a particular country before they travel. Instead of leaving these customers in the dark with inactionable responses, we can actually use generative responses in our conversation to help us get customers back on the happy path in the conversation flow. Now we'll move on to more development focused conversation tasks. The next capability we'll discuss helps developers build conversational experiences faster using natural language prompts. Earlier, we talked about how developers can manually create intents, routes, pages, and flows within chatbots. They can do this either using the visual flow designer or by using client libraries in Python, Java, Node.js, and other languages. But if we go one step further, what if we could just describe the task that we want the chatbot to perform, and then our development tool handled all of the details and gave us back a fully implemented conversation flow? Again, that's where Gen App Builder comes in. As you can see here, we don't have to deal with flows, intents, and other low-level objects, but instead, we describe what our virtual agent should do to help the user, including the task definition, the end goal, parameters, and even API endpoints and validation checks that should happen along the way. Gen App Builder then uses a large language model on the back end to parse all of these instructions and quickly build out a virtual agent that's ready for us to use. You can think of this capability as a way for chatbot developers to focus more on the conversational design and less on the implementation details all thanks to the power of LLMs and generative AI. The final capability that we'll talk about also focuses on speeding up the development time of virtual agents. But this time, we're gonna talk about handling complex graphs and state transitions more efficiently in conversation flows. Essentially, you describe the conversation flow at a very high level, and then an LLM-based intelligence model generates and auto-completes a detailed conversation graph and helps you quickly build out a more comprehensive customer experience. Of course, you can still customize every aspect of the conversation flow and dig deeper in the specific points of the customer journey when you need to. The traditional conversational development console is still there underneath Gen App Builder if you need more control or if you want to preserve backward compatibility with your existing virtual agents. 
Looking back at this session, we covered a lot of ground in terms of generative AI capabilities and new approaches for LLM-powered chatbots. But what does this actually mean for the future of customer experiences? It means new generative conversational capabilities, easier chatbot development, and the best of both worlds when it comes to combining domain-specific information with general knowledge. I'll wrap up our session today with a question that we get asked about a lot in recent times. In a world where there are large language models and generative AI, why do we even need chatbots at all? Why not just drop a large language model on my company website and move on to other interesting problems? Well, the answer has a lot to do with the scope of a large language model versus the scope of a virtual agent. So if you remember from earlier, a large language model is trained on a massive corpus, which results in a model that acts like a generalist across lots of different topics. And it's really designed to handle open-ended conversational dialogues or content generation. On the other hand, a virtual agent is a curated, custom-built conversational bot that can guide customers on an optimal path to a specific solution. So if you take one thing away from our discussion today, just know you don't have to choose between generative AI or chatbots. With Gen App Builder, you actually have access to more options to provide a great customer experience that captures the best of both worlds, rich AI-generated content, along with goal-oriented conversation steering. Now I want to leave you with a few different resources you can visit for more information. First up, if you want to learn more about generative AI in Google Cloud, including everything from foundation models to enterprise-grade generative AI solutions, you can visit the first link. If you actually want to try out and give feedback on emerging AI technologies like Gen App Builder, you can visit the second link to join the waitlist for our trusted tester program. And finally, as you're exploring and trying things out yourself, We'd love to hear what your experience is like and how we can help you build an amazing experience for your own customers. You can get in touch by using that third link. As you can tell, we are very excited about the new conversational capabilities powered by generative AI and the positive impact they'll have on improving customer experiences everywhere. Thanks so much for your time and for attending the session. I hope you learned something that will be useful in your own journey to build amazing customer experiences and I hope that you enjoy the rest of your time at Google I.O. Thank you.